The Duke and Duchess of Sussex were less than happy that nobody reached out to them after their docuseries, and also, more importantly, after Prince Harry's revelationary book, Spare, or War, depending on which one you're reading, perhaps the South Park version, who knows? And as you know, basically a lot of the royals were given, shall we say, or sent copies of the book because uh, they wanted them to read that version, their version of events. Now, truly, nobody actually knows whether Catherine, William, King Charles, Camilla, Princess Anne, whoever in the senior royals knows anything about what's inside that book. Obviously, you know, people are wandering around palaces all the time. They couldn't risk that particular book being seen because at some point it could be fed back. But now Prince Harry's made this momentous decision regarding that book and his elder brother, Prince William. As ever, let me explain. Hi, good morning, Neil Sean here. Nice to see you. Hope you're all well today. The coronation's moving on, by the way, and apparently the Spice Girls are unavailable. Yes, Adele's unavailable, Ed Sheeran's unavailable. I'm not quite sure about Lady Gaga, but you do kind of think all of these people announcing that uh, they're unavailable to perform uh, for the very special concert of King Charles III the day after his coronation on May the 7th at Windsor Castle. It's an honour. You know, and the bottom line is when you look at it, it's always the elder statesmen, the likes of Sir Rod Stewart, Mick Jagger, the big hitters, Sir Paul McCartney, you know, Brian May of Queen. They're the ones that really make an impact. You know, these whippersnappers that believe they're bigger than that. Well, they will regret it, won't they, in the years to come? Because when they say, did you perform? And you say, no. I was doing a show in concert, nothing wrong with concert, but you know what I'm saying? You do have to think how often you get invited to perform at such a prestigious royal event. Fascinating stuff. As ever, back to your breaking royal story of the day. As you know, with Prince Harry, allegedly he had lots and lots of more words, yes, and not just the colour in ones either on his book, but lots to add in for his ghostwriting pal, uh, JR. They wanted to detail more stories about his elder brother, Prince William. And it was interesting because throughout the book, he kept referring to him as Willie, you know, which is a word apparently or a phrase or a nickname that nobody has ever heard Prince Harry use for his elder brother at all. So you wonder if it was there to be demeaning and demoralising, that sort of stuff. Nobody recalls that at all. What's interesting now is because Prince Harry and Meghan Markle feel they've been snubbed, you know, by nobody responding back to that particular practice of, well, you know, how do we feel? What about heart hurt feelings? Not just with the book, as I said, you know, but with the docuseries also. I'm not sure whether they expected people to reach out, but as you saw, Prince Harry said in those interviews that he hoped his elder brother and his father, and perhaps Camilla, would in fact read the book. Now, we're not sure, as I say, whether they've read the book or not. Guess what? Prince Harry's now deciding for the paperback edition to include more stories. He certainly knows how to stoke a fire, doesn't he? Uh, and so for him, at least now, he's saying, well, you know, if you want to ignore me, there's far more to come. But when you think about it, if I was Penguin Random House, this is really like a very expensive copy of Globe magazine or the National Enquirer. You know, a lot of the stories that Prince Harry came up with were kind of like interesting, let's say, but they weren't exactly bombshell shells that rock the royal family that have you know seen the end of the monarchy which perhaps many people felt both the duke and duchess of sussex otherwise known as hazard and megs were hoping to do now harry according to that good source out at penguin random house and as ever we have to say allegedly is prepared to ramp up these particular stories unless he gets some kind of recognition or at least acknowledgement about some of the problems that he went through during his time as part of the british monarchy now, many people would just say this is difficult, petulant, childish. But of course, when you're talking millions of dollars and you have to keep coming up with more stories, knowing, of course, that no one particularly like the Prince of Wales and the Princess of Wales can answer back, well, what's the problem? If it's making money and seemingly people will buy it, and a certain few may even believe it too. But for Prince Harry, how much more can he delve in to his mind recess to find these oh-so-shocking stories? As ever, this is a developing story. When I know more, you'll know more.